Hi, welcome to today's live training. Uh, I, I had to start a new stream for whatever reason, you know, um, the other one did not let me go uh, live. So I hope you are all ready. I hope you set some time aside. Uh, you have your water just to stay hydrated. You have a pen and something to write on because I'm here to work with you. It's kind of a uh, group coaching workshop, sort of. And uh, my name is Renate Prandl, and I'm here to help you through, through these tough times. And today's training is about leadership. It's about leadership, uh, which starts from the inside. A leader is not somebody who wears a suit and gives orders. A leader, a true leader, is someone who is congruent, who is um, who knows what he or she stands for, uh, who has integrity and some other traits. So this is what we are uh, working on today. <clears throat> so what else to expect? Uh, also, what does living a charged life, you know, a life where you're really alive and vibrant, that you can take action, um, what does this mean for you? And at the end, I will also offer the opportunity for people who are interested in working with me to hop on a, a strategy call um, or and, and then probably being invited to my high performance coaching program. But this training is for free. So really, I honor you for taking the time in those you know, tough times without um, when people are kind of lost, uh, people are bored, I hear. And uh, I urge you to really take this time when you're in home isolation, take this as a gift. Take this as a gift. Uh, it's extra time for you to dive deep, to skill up and prepare yourself for the time ahead once the crisis is over. There will be a race afterwards for jobs, for positions, for leaders. And I don't want you to just start to warm up, you know, when everybody is already in their starting blocks and ready to go. I want you to be prepared. I want you to really work on your inner game to show up with your best outer game. And uh, if you're watching live now, please let me know where you're watching from that I can say a hello to you. It's 2.30 in the afternoon in Singapore. So it's the evening in Australia. It's uh, morning in Europe, uh, US. It's very late. So if you're still watching from there, thank you so much. It means that, you know, you really go all the way if you want to change your life. So, okay. Um, so as I said, Leadership comes from, from the inside. And I spoke to a few of my clients. I read lots of posts uh, online, in forums, in training groups. And I noticed that even people who seem to have it all, who are like an, on the forefront, they are all dealing with kind of fear, different levels of fear, with the uncertainty, the unknown, uh, self-doubt, um, and soul searching. So I'm here to help you ask questions to help you feel more alive and and um, in a more positive way that you're really going through this crisis unscathed or much stronger uh, on, and get out much stronger. I see there are a few people watching already. Hello, thanks for watching. Let me know in just type where you're watching in from that I can say hello to you. Um, it makes it's more fun, you know, to interact. It should be like a, um, it's like a discussion, like a face to face instead of me just talking. And the more energy you bring in, your questions, your comments, your thumbs up, um, the more I can bring more to the table as well. Okay, so uh, let's see what else would I like to say. Yeah, so we are all prepared. I think we are all ready to go. <clears throat> and this training is based on. Uh, high performance coaching and this is a session I have never ever taught to anyone outside my group of people outside my coaching clients so uh, I'm very excited to share this with more people 
and normally you know when we talk about high performance and if you have watched me you know i talk about high performance how to be clear what you want to do in life how to have the energy how to show up with less fear and more courage how to to be more productive how to organize your day um, how to be of an, uh, an influence i think last week i talked about how to gain more influence uh, as a leader in your business um, not necessarily political leader but also in your family you know that people see you as a role model a, a person to look at to go for to go to for advice because you're not just talking the the, the good stuff you're also walking the talk uh, so you have heard me about talk about this, but today we are diving a little bit more deeper into human drives, what really drives humans, their desires, and what makes a person more alive. And I think right now in the time of coronavirus, where lots of people are home isolating, they are stuck in uh, are stuck at home, uh, they don't move as much as they do, they are social distancing, so people feel like they are bored, life is stale. Um, and sometimes I think like lots of them are walking around when I see them in a supermarket where I go to once a week. Um, it's like they're living dead, right? There's no life in there. It's like everything has to, to has come to a standstill. There's no vitality, no mojo. So don't think you can just, you know, bring everything to a back burner. And then, you know, after this virus is over, the pandemic is over, that you are 100% you know, out of the gate like you know, a sprinter, an Olympic sprinter, if you have not trained and prepared now and if you have not kept your energy levels up and uh, if you're not clear what makes you alive, what you need to do to keep alive and vibrant and have the passion to go for your dreams. Okay, let's, uh, let's start with the first activity. And the thing is, in order to know where what we need to do to get from where we are right now to where we want to be, we have to take stock, we have to take an assessment. Like if you go to the doctors, they take an assessment, right? Uh, they ask you lots of questions, they take your pulse, your blood pressure, etc., etc. Talk about talk about medication. Uh, so we have to know where you are. And this is an assessment I'm gonna, it's, it's, uh, it's to help you identify five areas of improvement and it should give you see this a, a way for some self-reflection because i said earlier success is an inside game leadership is an inside game you have to master it inside first to be able to master it outside so and i want you to not stress about certain words or certain phrases uh, it's just a for you, I want you to rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest score, 10 is the highest. It's the best ever. I, it could not be better. And uh, it should be based not on the last two weeks or so. Uh, I want you to answer, give the answer, the, the score, based on the last six months of your life. By, by the way, please feel free to tell me where you're watching from and if you have any particular questions, I'm here to answer them to, for you. So use this opportunity to have this discussion. Okay, if you are ready, I want you to write down the name of the category and then listen to what I say and then you score yourself wound like, oh my God, this is horrible. Uh, it's not existing in my life and 10, I'm crushing it. And be honest you know it's not that you have to share it with me or anyone else it's for you and if you're not honest and if you're not really go down to like maybe not use excuses because sometimes we say ah, it's not so bad because we feel if we if we are really honest and uh, speak the truth people will look down on us so it's nothing to share it's for you right so here we go. Number one category is control. So you write down control. And after I read the, the description, the answer, the questions based on the last six months uh, of your life, you rate yourself from one horrible 10. Wow, I'm super trooper, superman or superwoman. All right, control. I sense I'm in control of my overall life right now. I feel like the captain of the ship. I have a handle on my life. I am progressing with confidence. 
I know I can bounce back from setbacks and continue forward with strength. Okay, based on the last six months, one to 10. And I don't want you to think too much, just, you know, what is the sense? Change loves speed. So I urge you to make a quick decision, right? Number two, competence. I have the knowledge, skills, ability, and wisdom needed to achieve my goals. I am regularly learning new things that help me progress. I know what I must learn in the coming months to be more successful. One to ten. All right. Number three, congruence. I am living in alignment with my values and who I want to be as a person. I treat others the way I hope to treat people. I am honest and trustworthy. I am feeling I'm living in integrity with what I believe and tell people. That's a good one, isn't it? I love integrity and treating people. Good. Next one, caring. I care for myself well. I am kind to myself and mindful of consistent self-care. I feel cared for by others. People are kind to me and make me feel cared for and appreciated. I also deeply care for others and I demonstrate it regularly by expressing my appreciation. Where are you? 1 to 10. Connection. I feel deeply connected to the people in my life. Overall, I have healthy relationships. I focus on improving my relationships and I feel lucky and happy to have great people in my personal and professional life. Hmm? Where are you? 1 to 10. Change. I try new things often and I'm always trying to improve many areas of my life. I don't fear change. I've made significant progress lately. I know what needs to change in my life and I'm ready to do it. Challenge. I push myself at home and at work to be a better person. I often attempt difficult things. I look forward to a challenge. I make bold moves and I bounce back after setbacks and I stay persistent. I love the word persistent. One of the ingredients for success. Creative expression. I show the world my uniqueness by sharing my real thoughts and opinions. I feel creative in what I do for work and in other activities. My home, office and projects reflect my own style. I'm living my own authentic life. 1 to 10. Contribution. I feel my efforts each day are adding to some, something meaningful. I'm giving good things to the world. I sense my contribution matters. I find my work and life to be important and purposeful. That's a tough one for lots of people. Even I have to. This is one I have to constantly remind myself. Okay, last one. Consciousness. I feel present and mindful each day. I am being conscious of how my thoughts and actions are creating my reality. I sense I'm connected to something beyond myself or feel a high level of awareness. Oh my God. Conscious of my thoughts. You know, all those tiny little thoughts in our head, the stories we run, the self-talk, like I'm not good enough or this might hurt or this might not be for me or this might be difficult. Or like, oh yeah, I can do this. I will figure it out. Okay, got it? Good. Now, I want you to do the following now. Find the category where you have the lowest score and where you have the highest score, right? And I'm not quite sure if you have a 10 because I think 10 is just, it's not the end. There's always another level, right? So it might be 10 plus or 11 whatsoever. So be honest, so circle the numbers the lowest number and the highest number. And I want you to identify or discuss one thing, one new thing or one new habit you, you can or could begin in each area right now to increase your score. So in control, 
It was like, I sense I'm in control of my overall life. Are you in control or have you given away control to others? So what could you do to take control back? One thing, one habit, write this down. It can be many, 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 but I want just one thing, one new thing or one new habit, you know, will help you to take control back of your life. And maybe it's just like, let go of negative people. Let, let go of people who control everybody and everything and never ever appreciate you. I don't know what it is for you. One thing, competence. I have the knowledge, skill, ability and wisdom I needed. Uh, I'm learning new things that help me progress and I know what new thing I need to know. So what is it? One new thing you need to know if you're low in competence or wherever, wherever you are, right? To increase your score one or two or three levels what is it if it's in health maybe it's eating healthier food more green based or plant based food whether it's in your relationship like what you need to learn maybe learn new new listening skills because if you have a discussion with your significant other you get mad immediately and you don't even listen. So what is it for you? Won't you think or won't you have it? In congruence, I'm alive, living in alignment with my values and who I want to be uh, as a person. And I'm, I'm living in integrity in what I believe. So what do you believe in as a person? What is your belief? I strongly believe in write this down and what can you do to if you think you're like you're here to serve others but you're not getting out serving others you're holding back and it's not like feeling ashamed or feeling bad but what's one thing you could do right now especially maybe in probably in this crisis how can you help others and i don't want you to uh, to endanger your life but what one have one thing you could do consistently to show up living more congruent with who you are as a person. If you say I'm a giving person, I'm a caring person, are you living into being caring? Are you really living into giving? Caring. I'm kind to myself and mindful um, and I also feel cared for by others. So powerful and so often neglected by leaders because if you are a leader if you are maybe running a big company if you leading a big group of people very often we are so driven by outside success by getting the numbers right by showing up and creating an image that we forget to take care of ourselves on ourselves so self-care do you really take care of yourself do you have a gratitude journal uh, are you grateful? Do you practice gratitude? Um, do you take breaks and rest? Hi Dylan, where are you watching from? I guess somewhere from the US. Nice to see you. I hope you're safe. How is the situation where you are? Isn't that crazy? So are you really taking care of yourself? Uh, do you meditate? Do you meditate every single day? There are lots of meditation courses out there and, and things to do. I usually uh, just use the simple meditation uh, technique by my mentor, Brennan Bashad. It's called the release meditation technique. You find it on YouTube. It's very easy, simple. Just repeat the word release and let all the negative thoughts and, uh, and, and things uh, on worries go. Um, I also want to say, do also take a break if you are in front of a computer do you really get out of your chair every 50 to 60 minutes to stretch, have a glass of water? Hi, Mikey. How are you doing? I hope the, the snow has stopped. I just saw that it was snowing. Unbelievable on the 1st of April. Right? About connection. Now, I feel deeply connected to the people in my life. Are you or are you just living next to each other? Especially now when you are at home with family members. So I urge you, like, what can you do to feel more connected? And one of the, I give you uh, a hint if you're not quite sure what to do. Um, one of the con uh, high performance habits we do is, like, 
make sure you have dinner together tonight. And if it's not tonight, if you can't do it tonight, do it tomorrow. Hello, Vera. Nice to see you. So, um, and really ask a lot of, ask all the families, family members, ask lots of questions about their dreams, about their aspirations, and also speak about your dreams. Because sometimes we think we know what people want, or we think they know what we want, but they have no clue. So sit down for dinner and have a really meaningful dinner, but also have some fun. It does not have to be like, oh my God, these are your dreams I didn't know and everything is gloom and doom. Bring some lightness in there as well, because laughter is the best medicine we know. And especially in those very dire times, some laughter and some joy, they also help boost the immune system. Wouldn't you agree, Vera? <laughs> Vera is a doctor, by the way, right? So, change. I change things often. I always try to improve many areas. I know what I need to change in my life. So are you really trying new things? Or are you one of those people like, ah, oh, you know, I did so much in my life. I tried so many different things and I feel really comfortable right now. So. Hmm, I will just stay the way it is because you know what if you want to be a successful person a high performer whether you're a doctor whether you're a coach whether you are a businessman uh, so I know people watching here a little, well, a little bit you have to really be courageous and try new things you have to be open-minded you have to be future oriented you have to be fearful and sometimes you fall you stumble and fall so what get up on your feet and get going this is what successful people do this is also what leaders do people sometimes think a leader has to be perfect a leader does not have to make any mistakes a leader does not have to be imperfect no a leader has to be um, has to show up with integrity and live into his, his uh, core values and lead others, inspire others, lift others up, right? This is my definition of leadership. But please feel free to share what you feel a good leader should be, or even write it down. Are you a good leader? Do you have all those traits you expect from a good leader, right? And if not, it's not like, that you get frustrated or sad, it's like, okay, this is something I have the time now or I make the time now to work on it. All right, uh, what else? I look forward to a challenge and make bold moves. This goes kind of hand in hand with change. Creative expression. Do I really share my real thoughts and opinions or I just I, I, saying yes, yes, yes. I just one of the, those people just say yes, yes, yes. A people pleaser and you never ever share you know what you truly care about what you stand for you know are you really authentic and i know authenticity sometimes can be scary because people are like wow you stand for this you are this person i always thought you were that person but in the long run if you really want to make an impact you have to be authentic you cannot pretend to be another person, another personality. You can only pretend for so long, but then people, people might find out. Okay, contribution, I love this one. I feel my efforts each day are adding to something meaningful. I'm giving good, I sense my contribution matters. So do you contribute to the world? Do you contribute to the greater good? And I'm not meaning that you spend money, you, you donate, which is awesome as well. But what else? Do you share compassion? Um, do you share care, that you're caring for compassion, that you're listening maybe to your kids, to your clients, to your students, to your team members, right? Are you contributing and are living into your purpose? What's your purpose? Maybe that's a question for afterwards, like, What's your purpose? Or you can write it down here. Like, what do you think is your purpose? And what can you do to be even more purposeful? One thing, one new habit to be more purposeful. And the last one, 
I'm present and mindful each day. Oh, I love this because right now people are like, you know, on their, their phone, like scrolling through and like, this is not being present, like, and uh, doing 10 things in room at the, at the same time, this is not being present and not doing 10 things and listening to your, your spouse, like having a discussion, like, yeah, yeah, I'm listening, I'm with you. This is not being present. You cannot connect to the other person if your thoughts, your mind is all over the place, just hone in, be present. And if it's just for a few minutes, because we are all busy, but be present, really care, ask, how are they really feeling? What are they scared about? Talk to your kids. They, they feel that maybe you are uncertain, especially in times of Corona, virus and COVID-19 pandemic, like they sense it. Ask what they're really afraid of, you know, talk it through. And are you at the level of high awareness? Are you aware of how you project into the world and how you share and how you give and how you show up with your full purpose? And then what's one thing you can do more? So maybe it's just like, talking through the situation with your kids and you might say, well, Renate, we have spoken about it. Yeah, you spoke about it maybe like three days ago, maybe last week, but they might have heard things when on the phone with your friends, they might have, have read something in the newspaper which scares them, maybe things they don't completely comprehend and they make their own version of it. Really take the time, be present and help them through these times, you know? Okay, how are we going so far? What have you taken away so far? Has this been of value so far? Any questions? I'm here, I'm here at your disposal, my friends. Ask me any question. It can be about, you know, the human drives we talk about, about this assessment, but anything else you're struggling with right now, being the leader, you know you are the leader of your company, the leader of your, um, of your practice, the leader of your, of your coaching business, right? Okay, let's ask you this other question. Look at the category where you score the highest. Take the highest score wherever it was, whether it's control, competence, congruence, caring, connection, change, challenge, creative expression, contribution, consciousness. Okay, just go there where the highest ranking was. And why do you feel the ranking was so high? Why do you think you're so great in this area or based on the last six months? Why has this ranking been this high? Why is it? Write down what comes to mind, or you can also post it down here. And also, what beliefs do you have that helped you score well? What beliefs? And I'm not talking about religious beliefs, and I'm talking about beliefs like anything is possible, or like I will figure it out. If I'm not sure how to do it, I will ask for help, because asking for help is not a weakness. It's actually showing that you care, that you're really willing to grow. It's a strength. So what, why do you feel this category is the highest? And what beliefs do you have that helped you? And also what behaviors, not just what beliefs, because belief is one thing, I can believe something and it's very conceptual, it's in my head, right? And I'd never do it. I believe it's great, and still you don't do it, so it still does not move the needle. So what behaviors have helped you in this category? What behaviors do you have as structured, day by day, itinerary? Uh, do you have discipline? Do you have a team and you do things together? Maybe the behavior could be like you have a team and you do things together. So what is it? Write this down and you can, you know, go back to this uh, worksheet afterwards and write down what else comes to mind. Because if you don't know what it is, you cannot change. 
we can only change things we know that are there. Like in Feldenkrais, like if you don't know how I move, I cannot change the movement, right? If I don't know how I sit, I cannot change how I sit and get out of pain probably, right? Okay, no questions? Okay, half an hour, let's just go a little bit more. And I want to talk about something which is based on um, the charged life of my mentor, one of my mentor and trainer, Brendan Burchard's book um, about the charged life. And he says uh, he likes to distinguish between three dominant kinds of experience we have in any given area in our life. We can feel caged, comfortable or charged. And when you hear the word caged, I don't want you to think of the situation right now like, oh, I feel caged in because I have to uh, be in home quarantine or in home isolation. I cannot go out. I cannot lead the lifestyle I usually do. Uh, it's, uh, I will read the concept for you and I ask some questions. And the question, again, I want you to put the answers down. And if you feel like, oh, the wording is kind of weird, and I'm going to read the wording because I don't want to use my own words right now. I want you, because we don't have so much time, uh, I really want to use the words Brandon uses. And these words, they're the questions, they were looked at, they were uh, dissected and put together by, let's see, 137 psychologists worldwide so experts in adult learning and michael you might be interested in this one uh, people in adult learning in success uh, how the brain works maybe this is for you vera so just don't bother about the words and if it, it finds if it feels a little bit funny uh, it has been tested and there's a reason why the words I use the way they are used and the word order is the way the word order is. So uh, it's about, you know, it should help you to live a, to, to lift up the quality of your life and uh, it should help you to feel the differences between these kinds of emotional realities because living a caged life has to do with emotions and the emotions create your reality. If you live a comfortable life, it has to do with emotions and those emotions of being comfortable or being too comfortable, they lead your or create your reality. And living a charged life, a full on life, a vibrant, energized life also has to do with like, you know, emotions inside of you. All right, and you might think, well, how does this help me be a better leader? Because if you know your emotions, if you know how to shift state because you know there are tough times and you might be upset with a team member or maybe the deal did not get through you get a little bit mad and frustrated or sad or uh, whatever it is emotions if you know where you are and if you know some tools how to shift the state this shifts how you show up in life, right? And lots of gurus are out there that tell you to take, make use of the time right now and change their life and be more insightful. But hell no, how to do this? Nobody tells you how to do it, right? If I'm the expert, I know how to help myself. I know how to, to you know, better myself and show up with more energy. But these questions here, they are here to help you find your way because not everyone functions the very same. We know that, right? So you have to find your own truth. You have to find your own answers to level up, to skill up, to step it up and to emerge stronger in this time of crisis or out of this or after this time of crisis. Okay, enough said. Let's go because I really don't want to take your time too much. Uh, too long. If there are still questions, please post questions and comments here below. But I want to stay uh, around the 45 to 50 minute uh, time frame. So a caged life. And I want you to, to think of, just listen to the description. And I'm going to answer, uh, ask a few questions. So I, I do all three that you get a, a taste of. It's like a, a, 
epiphany, like, you know, you get a taste of everything, right? So we cannot go in as deep as in a personal coaching session, but I want you to get a taste of it. And I want you to take things away, doable things to help you really level up. Okay, the caged life is like, well, sometimes the situational area of our life can, feel, can leave us feeling trapped. And I'm not talking about the coronavirus situation right now. We feel caged, unable to break free from a recurring thought, a behavior, a routine, a negative person or a difficult situation. Often we feel like no one can understand how difficult it is for us in this situation and we can, can get easily we can easily get mad or blame others for not understanding, right? So, and be honest. And again, you don't have to share with me here, with the group or with the people watching, but for yourself. Do you realize that you are in this situation frequently? A few times, like you are unable to break free from recurring thought like, ah, I would love to do this, but it's too difficult. Or, oh my, this is not for me, or this is not for women, or that's so bad, you know, it's only men can achieve this. Um, a behavior that you completely sabotage yourself. Like, you know, you know you're not supposed to eat certain food because of health issues, and still you fall back into the same behavior over and over again or you're attracted to the same in relationships. You're always, you're always attracted to the, to the morons, to the people who do not value you, who do not treat you nicely. So this is something you are there, you know, you fall for the same over and over again. And it's like, you don't understand, you know, how, that's how I am, right? You get easily mad, you blame others, you don't understand my situation. Now, if that's you, or maybe in only some areas of life, I want you to answer some of those questions. I'm not reading all the answers, I just pick a few. Now, are there any situations in life right now where you feel trapped, frustrated, or hopeless, right? It could be in your business, it could be in your relationship, and instead of just saying yes, well, maybe, just write down where it is. Where do you feel trapped? And it might be your marriage, right? It might be your job. Just write it down. Question number two. I'll leave out a few other questions. What would the person who was your greatest influence, you know, your role model uh, in life advise you to do in this situation? Because if you don't know what to do, sometimes we think like, what would this person, my greatest influence, what would he or she advise me to do, you know? And mind you, we all have about five people who really influence us. And in most cases, our parents are not part of this group. So I know for me, I had two teachers one was the geography teacher and the other one was my English teacher. So they influenced me to think outside the box, to develop this craving for travel and meeting new people and exploring um, different countries and different continents. And no matter what, you know, learn English at least at a level that you can make yourself understood. Because for me, English was a means a means to travel, a means to communicate. So what is it for you? All right. Okay. Now, go back to, to another situation. Maybe you feel like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, I'm a little bit caged, but I'm like, I live a comfortable life. And being comfortable can be a wonderful thing. Like, you have worked hard, and now you are at the end uh, of this, like, working hard, you know, with grit and, you know, you know, working harder and uh, comfort can become too much. And if you are in a comfortable situation, but you have a deep restlessness inside of you, like, you know, 
why is that? You know, I should be happy. I should be comfortable. You know, I have, you know, a beautiful house, a beautiful family. I can do this and that. And I have my cars and whatever uh, is important in your life, whatever makes you feel good. Why is it I'm restless? And even though we have everything to be happy, we are not really 100% happy. We know there's more another level of joy, another, another level of engagement, another level of success, and another level of fulfillment. So, questions for you then. What helped you succeed in life but might now be limiting you? Maybe it was like working 22 hours per day, but now it's limiting you because lots of areas which are important outside of your work you don't have the time to do those things, right? And another question. Are there any areas of your life where you feel bored, restless, or desperately ready for more? Which ones? Is it your health? Is it connection with your family? What is it? And why? I want you to write down why. And again, you can come back later after the live stream and think of the why. Why are you restless in these areas? Why you are bored? Why you are ready for more, even so you have it all? Why is that? What's really bothering you? Why is that? And it's like, I don't know. Maybe you know inside, but it has been buried by like all the other things which were made more important. All right, moving on to number three, which we all want to have. We want to have a charged life. And a charged life, it feels more energized, more engaged and exciting than being comfortable, right? You have this oomph, you have the spring in your step, you have this smile on your face, even so we are tough days. And um, it feels like being in the flow, right? You know, this. Is, maybe you know, maybe you remember when there's as everything seems to be so easy, whatever you you do it just like it's so natural so easy you're in a zone and you want to be in a zone more often you want to be more engaged jo joyful even as you take on challenges there's no border and people now they say oh i'm so bored what to do heck no i'm not bored i'm like i'm busy i'm busy teaching i'm busy sharing i'm busy learning stuff uh, taking on another coaching certification. Uh, I'm busy writing some stuff. I'm busy working on my audio logo for my speaker kit, being on stages, on bigger stages when this uh, pandemic is over, not just on the smaller stages, on up to 100 people. I want to be on bigger stages, 1,000, 2,000, up to 10,000 people. So I really want to make an impact in people's lives. So I have to prepare and even so, you know, all those big events are cancelled or postponed right now. I'm very grateful. I have more time to prepare and do all the things I have to do. So questions for you. When was the last time you felt like you were truly in the zone? Like, you know, everything was just easy and happy and perfect. And it was just, la it was just the time of your life. When was the last time? And I want you to write this down. And what made you feel that way? Was it another person? Did you fall in love? Did you make your first million? Did you save a person's life? What was it? You know, because I want you to go there and feel it. Really feel, feel now what it felt then. What would you need to do to feel even more energized mentally and physically in life right now? Because we are like, ah, I don't know, it's, it's so, I need to, to run to be more energized. Well, if you can't run, run up, up and down the stairs if you cannot go outside. If you cannot run, walk in place. There's always something you to do. If you cannot run because it gives you the adrenaline and the good feel hormones, dance, move your whole body, do something silly, laugh. It brings out the good in you. It brings out good hormones, happy hormones, and uh, this helps your immune system as well. 
What new thing could you pursue that would make you feel more excited about life? Right now, I know it's tough now, but this will be over in general. What new thing could you pursue that would make you feel more excited about life right now? Because I hear people are so, so clear about the things they do not like in life. But when I say like, what excites you? What would, would you like to do? People are like, I don't know. So maybe it's a similar thing which excited you years ago, the last time you felt excited and in the flow, in the zone. Or maybe it's something like, something you always wanted to do and you were too scared or you had the excuse of no time. So what could it be? Two more questions and then I hope you have some questions. How can you remind yourself to be engaged and excited about your day more often, right? How can you do this? If you're like, ah, oh, it's a drag. The day is like, oh my God, two more hours at work or two more hours in this online meeting, in this Zoom meeting or whatsoever. How can you remind yourself to be more engaged? Well, you can think of the things which make you happy. You can set a reminder on your phone um, when you know in the afternoon that's the time when you get really low and not excited at all, like, if, like at four o'clock probably, uh, an alarm pops up and reminds you of your power words or the situation which made you happy or something that makes you happy or brings a smile onto your face. Or maybe it's just that a photo of your loved ones pop up and you, you see them and like, I did good. I, I have a great family. I have great relationships. Man, I did good. A woman, I did good. Maybe this makes you excited. And last questions for today. Last question for today is if next year you felt three times more alive and happy about life, what new habits would you need to start or stop right now? So you say, well, I'm already happy and everything, but there's always a next level. So I'm not asking you to 10x your happiness. So make it three times bigger. What would you need to implement or start implementing right now to make you three times happier, more fulfilled, more in the flow, more like, yeah, let's bring it on. All cool. What would you need to start doing right now? And what would you need to stop doing right now? And write it down and make a list start doing that i'm stop doing and revisit make sure you put those things into action right and this could also be something like you put in your alarm if you are low on energy and you have to remind yourself to be more engaged and excited it could be another alarm during the day and you put in the big vision for me one of my big visions and which makes me really excited and happier because it's a challenge is i want to go up to machu picchu next year so i have to train i have to get my hip fixed and maybe have my fit in my second hip uh, replacement surgery but i know i want to be there i know i want to hike up this place where the old incas they were, they were there, it's the same route. I want to be up there, maybe suffer from altitude sickness. I know 4,000 meters altitude. I know from when I did skiing in high altitude and then when I climbed Kilimanjaro, this is when my headache kicks in. But I want to probably experience this because I feel alive. And I want to stand there and look at those ruins at those amazing structures people built and we still are not quite sure how they did it. I just want to be there and experience and sense it and feel it and grasp it and touch it. And not like I touch stuff, but you know, just be there, feel the ground where they were. Those amazing cultures, people, experts, unbelievable so this is something that makes me happy so i know how to be there how to achieve this like oh my god i achieve you know hiking up into high altitude 
I am there learning about more about the old cultures. I have to prepare. So and if I feel like, ah, oh, today I don't want to exercise, maybe just a reminder in the afternoon, like, well, if you don't do it now, you know, the recovery from your surgery will, will be longer and hiking up there will not be as pleasurable as it can be. All right. Now, today I shared with you maybe different concepts about leadership, different concepts about thinking about your life, about making it more alive and more happy and more being in the flow and finding some areas where you really have to put the work in and with dedication and persistency and showing up consistently because this is what makes you successful, what has made you successful so far and what will make you even more successful. But you might have to tweak it because some areas you might be feeling caged. Some areas maybe you feel like, yeah, I've already and I do not feel as happy as I could be. All right, I hope this serves you. So what did you love about the session today? Just put it down there. What did you love about the session today? I hope you, if it's anything you did not like, I hope it's not too much, post it down there as well. It's for me to learn as well how I can serve you better. So what did you love about today's sessions? And what, what insights um, did you grab onto? Did you feel if you were more consistent asking those questions about purpose, about inside mastery, that your life would change, it would be different for yourself and for uh, the people around you? Would it improve? All right, I know it's lots of thoughts and I said I want to be around 45 to 50 minutes, which is about now. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really, I appreciate your time and uh, if you watch the replay, please stop wherever you have to stop and think about the answers to the questions. Don't think like, yeah, 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 I know about it. Really write down what comes to mind because what you write down, handwriting, there's a special connection between handwriting and your brain. And we know the brain is the captain of your ship. If the captain gives an order and the captain thinks, oh, Vera loves this one. The brain will do anything and everything to make it happen. Or if the brain says, oh, Dylan loves that one, because you wrote it down, what you like to do, what you like to accomplish, how it feels to be in the flow, the brain, the captain of the ship, will give the order to make it happen. And the crew will follow the captain's order. And for, uh, for Michael, if you know what to do after the big deals who are on the horizon, hopefully. And what makes you happy, what makes you in the flow, what makes you more integrated and more purposeful. Thank you, thank you for, for, for the thumbs up. Uh, write it down. It's about adult learning. It's about how the brain works. And the brain, again, will help you to make it become a reality much faster. Okay, that's it for today. I really, really hope you take action. You're not just, you know, answer some of the questions. Say, yeah, 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 I do it another time. Really make the time. Make the time to grow as a person. Make the time to grow as a leader, as an influencer. And show up, you know, as your very, very best self. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions below, is there the place to post them? You can also reach out to me personally if you want to dive really deep into the different areas of your life where you are struggling or whether, not maybe not struggling, but not your very, very best, where you know you can do even better. Um, let's uh, have a call, let's have a strategy session. 60 minutes, you and me uh, diving deep into uh, clarity and influence and purpose and all these things and uh, you will get some written feedback and also some doable uh, success strategies because I know you're already driven, you're already successful. You know how to motivate yourself most of the time. So, and uh, you know that people need answers, tools, different mindsets, different perspectives. And for some of you, 
and it's a very, very special coronavirus price. Go to H, uh, uh, HTTPS Renate Dash Prandl, Renate Prandl, uh, Renate Prandl, and uh, get uh, the strategy session plus the, the follow up. And for some of you, I will extend an invitation to join my high performance high performance coaching program it's not for everyone it's very personal it's an investment in time and money uh, it's um, you have to be ready to do this investment of, of time and money and also um, investing in the ability well you also have to be open to to be um, authentic you have to be ready to be um, vulnerable and everything is not like here where it's an open forum, it's strictly confidential, but uh, this is by invitation only. But if you really want more to, to, to work on those areas in your life, about your relationship, about how to show up with more courage or more purpose, um, just you know, get on uh, a call with me, 60 minutes, you and me, uh, working on those strategies to level up and get into the flow much faster. And uh, yeah. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I have have a fantastic day. Go out every single day. Out, not maybe not. You cannot go out, but you know, show up, show up when you go out. In a sense of like you on a call with clients, with patients, uh, with customers. Uh, when you show up uh, in discussions with your loved ones, with your kids, your parents, your spouse. Uh, and don't forget to dream, dream big, believe, believe you can do anything you like to achieve with the right tools, the right mindset, the right strategies, the right, you know, oomph, the right mojo, the right drive and succeed. Thank you. Auf Wiedersehen. Love you guys.